r slash dating over 40. Gusno 1980 says. Met someone and I'm smitten on the first date slash it, but. I got some worries slash questions. Please advise. Longish post, too long, didn't read, at the bottom. Let me set this up, I 43 male, was on Bumble and this really beautiful woman 40 female, super liked me. I'm a software architect, and she is an executive in one of the largest financial institutions in the world, I'm saying not more than two levels below the seer. She invited me for coffee on Thursday we hit it off. She is 5 feet 1, and I'm 6 feet 0. She has beautiful blue eyes and I have thick hair and brown eyes. She complimented me for my looks. I haven't really taken care of myself, so it felt good. I was smitten by her. She invited me over that night. Her living room and kitchen combined is as big as my house. Her house is like the house you see in John Wick. Fully of windows as walls. Anyway the good thing is we're both liberal, we both love yoga, and by the end of the night we ended up making love, though she said we are going too fast. And while she enjoyed the foreplay she did feel like we were going fast when we took it to the next step. I told her it's all good if I have to stay with my boxes on no biggie. But she is the one that ended up taking it off. And post sex she felt upset and thought I was going to ghost her. I reassured her that while I just got out of a divorce and am looking for hookups she has everything I need. Since she is in a position of power at work she wanted to be the sub. I love being dom, so that also works for us. Things I like about her. 1. She is very successful, and I told her how awesome I thought that was. I felt like it was a genuine turn on for me, that a powerful woman would say I want to be a sub. 2. She is amazing in every which way, very intelligent but also spiritual. I have never seen someone slip in and out of spiritual conversations into grounded conversations like her. It really was a turn on 3. She is the mother of a kid, I have one myself. I think we have that in common 4. She has the most amazing smile, and thankfully for me, she is into me. 5. We have identical political leanings. 6. She is very spiritual, and I while I like to be spiritual I've never been able to tap into that realm and she assured me she can be a condit. 7. Folks listen, I'm falling for her, and this is just after one coffee, and one round of sex. And so where am I worried about? Here they are. 1. Just before having sex and post sex she said that, if we make out the very first session things might go south from there, and the magic of conversation etc. will disappear. I assured her that it won't. I told her I'm not sure what I want, yet but I feel strongly connected to her and too, she travels regularly and, so we were supposed to hang yesterday, but ended up not being able to because she wanted to spend time with her kid before taking off. I must have sent 15 texts out of just wanting to hear from her but backed off. What is the advice here? Should I respond to just her texts? Should I say morning? I don't want to be all up her space, but I also want to show my affection. And 3. I sent her a few WhatsApp pictures of me and my pet. She has seen them but hasn't responded. I understand that she's busy, but can't she at least say hi? Am I reading too much into it? And 4. The saving grace here is, that when I went to her house she introduced me to folk metal, he lung, and I fell in love with it. She mentioned that they're visiting, and I promptly bought us two tickets for the show. She did say she was traveling that week. I told her, that I bought the tickets just in case she would still be in town, and she said BTW, the tickets you got for Heelung are incredible, I really hope I'm here for that, I would love to see them in 5, she said she'd hang out with me yesterday from 2, 4pm and then from 5, 8pm. Then she had to back out due to meetings, and then due to her turn, to take care of her kid. The text about Heelung came after that. And so I need some advice on one. How to handle the dynamic of being confident enough to give her space, but show her affection, 
I also want to throw hints at some D slash S stuff, but obviously we are not ready yet. 2. Let's say she isn't as into me as I'm into her. Let's say she moves away from me. How do I handle it? Her smile haunts me, I've literally started doing yoga, running and cleaning up my house the last 36 hours because of her. I want to achieve things in life now, even though I consider myself pretty successful already. 3. For those that have dated women executives, but you aren't one yourself, what? Is that like? What advice can you give me? And too long, didn't read, I 43 male, met someone 40 female, I really like. She is an executive at a different company, while I'm an individual contributor, if we were in the same company she'd be 5 levels above me. She is always busy. While I know it's too early, I'm smitten, but I want to know how to date a woman when there is such a huge disparity, and she is always busy traveling. She is also a sub and wants me to be a dom which I'm good with. When should I have this convo with? Throwaway underscore dating 2289 says. Op, respectfully, you're all over the place and way too intense. You barely know this person. You seem more focused on and excited about her career than her. It doesn't seem like you're ready for something serious. I'd suggest trying to relax, not pinning all your hopes on this woman, not giving her credit for you exercising or cleaning your house, and getting into therapy ASAP. Blunter42 says. Agreed to be honest this sounds a lot like me my first experience after my divorce, 22 years, was final. Way too excited way too fast. Representative Raid27 says. He has all the signs of someone who has come out of a relationship and hasn't done the personal work to improve himself or proper grieving and is starting down the path of acting crazy. Something like what he's starting with this executive lady should be relaxed and exciting about its potential, not full of overanalyzing, intensity and worrying because she didn't message him. I've been through two divorces, so have first hand experience of this. Ethel Fleet underscore says. People who use the term Makia at Sesh are not the people who go to see Heelung. You texted her 15 times and bought tickets to a show for you both after one date. That's frick, I'm creepy. If she was into you, you've likely scared her off. I almost got a restraining order after reading this post. What part of she left you on read, and ignored 15 texts and pics of you, and your pet do you not understand? Like I'm happy you got laid but dude, what f? Ok Tennis 6607 says. Tickets to a show for a week, when she said she is traveling, and yes girl to the restraining order lol he got hooked on that kitty. Asking for a friend for real says. Yeah this guy's, is likely to get ghosted from her. He's going from 0 to 100 in creep factor. Sfadmin Life says. Whoa what the frick. This is like a manic episode or maybe 10 manic episodes condensed into a super long post. I almost stopped reading after she has beautiful blue eyes and I have thick hair and brown eyes. That is the weirdest statement. Then, it was followed by more weird statements. I'd advise you to dial all of this back. Tone it down, it's way too much, too fast. You can't be head over heels for someone you don't know. You've met once. You don't know her. I'm not trying to be mean to you, but I've definitely been on the other side of this a few times, minus the first date sex. Guys that obsess and are convinced you are their everything, when they don't even know you, can be frightening. You seem like a nice dude with good intentions. Just calm down. R slash dating over 40. Art Suffered says. Lost time, do not remember how, having a beer went to having sex. M41 F I had previously went on a few days with this guy and didn't get any bad vibes. I liked him, he was always respectful. We had dinner at 7 cocktails at the restaurant and one beer at my house i don't remember from the beer 
until I realized I remember thinking oh we are having sex now, but was really out of it. I've never lost time, or blacked out from three drinks especially with food. At dinner I talked about how condoms were important to me, and I had both male and female condoms. When I realized we were having sex, there was definitely no condom used. The next morning I realized my blinds were all the way up, and my underwear was in. My pants like they were pulled off. My vagina hurt. I pooped my pants the next day on a dog walk. I felt terrible, not how I would usually feel in the morning after 3 drinks. Usually if I'm really drunk I have bad heartburn as in I can't lay down, because I just burp. This did not happen this night. I'm posting this asking for advice, and because I'm freaked out about the no condom and IDK what happened, or how it escalated like that. He left at 3, I have hazy memories. I don't remember taking my clothes off at all. I'm very adamant on condoms to the point that I will argue. I feel violated and not sure what to do from. Sex underscore candy underscore Ocknell says. How long ago was this? It might still be possible it would show up on a blood test if he drugged you. I would go to the hospital regardless for a rape kit. Tell them everything you told us. Please take a friend. This is a very traumatic experience to go through alone. I'm so sorry. Truly. It's awful. Your underscore saints underscore patron says. This. Yes. Go now. Endless Pie says. Hospital. You should be checked out by qualified people. You might also consider having someone else drive in case you were drugged and it's still affecting you. Reluctant Donkey says. Also, I'm assuming more than 12 eye showers have passed, but if you realize something like this is amiss within the 12 hour window, pee in a glass and take it with you to a raw clinic. We had a local guy get busted by a woman capturing urine early enough. Reluctant Donkey says. Sound sus, and you should feel violated. Get to a clinic ASAP for testing, and if you feel comfortable, contact a local SAN non-profit, and see if they will go with you to the police. Totally fair if you don't feel up to it, but, if you do, take the SAN org people with you. Don't go alone. Has he reached back out? Kathleen Non says. Honey, my heart is with you as I read this. Other posters have given really good practical advice. On the emotional side, trust your feelings on here. Nothing about this sounds consensual. If you don't remember taking your clothes off, you weren't in a state where you could give consent. You seem very confident you didn't put yourself into that state. You know your safe limits around drinking, and you didn't exceed them with this man. You know you always insist on condoms and you know he penetrated you without a condom. I think you have a pretty good idea of how this escalated beyond what you wanted. And it's terribly painful to acknowledge that someone you liked and trusted deliberately incapacitated you. If you need to push that knowledge away for a while to cope, know that that's a common response. Most. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.